question for any do legal eagles about Trump's escort hearing today on the CO ruling. As I understand, the company escort ruled that an insurrection did occur and that Trump's conduct did amount to insurrection or that he did at least give comfort to insurrectionists. As I understand further, Trump's appeal to the USS court did not seek to question that particular part of the CO court's rulings but instead simply challenged their power to bar Trump from the primary, regardless of whether he was an insurrectionist, arguing, one, that Trump is not an officer, for purposes of Section 3 of the 14th Amendment and 2. That only Congress, not CO, has the power to determine whether Trump should be barred per Section 3. So the question of insurrectionist Ness Bell Non is currently not at all an issue at the USS Court. My question is, if the USS Court agrees with Trump on either or both of the grounds stated for his appeal, will Coe's factual finding of insurrectionist Ness have any precedential effect in any court? including even Justin C.O. courts, or does it completely evaporate? Because that particular holding isn't actually being addressed by the USS court, maybe it wouldn't completely go away? What if, e.g., a C.O. citizen had a private cause of action in which a damages award might be increased if insurrectionist Ness were involved? Again, I am not asking about whether there was an insurrection, or whether Trump should win or lose at the S. court. Just trying to understand whether the factual finding of insurrectionist Ness by the CO court will have any effect if the S court agrees that states can't use Section 3 to bar Trump from primaries.